Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. I felt it brewing, I saw it coming, and it finally happened. I got Death Wobble in the WJ. Yeah, baby. So I'll give you guys a little backstory. I did the rear control arms in this thing because this thing was giving me a little shimmy like that. <laughs> it still kind of wobbles now, but that's another story. But yeah, I figured it would be safe to drive. So I did my headlight video and I popped in some nice Bossola bulbs in my headlights and I took this thing for a test drive and it was doing really great until I decided to come home and call it a day. I got off at an exit that had some construction going on. There was some potholes in the road and boom, these bulbs are great. All right, I'm gonna get off here, head home, and tomorrow I'll put in my Laredo lenses. Ooh. Woo! Yeah, baby! Woo! Yahoo guys, what a wild ride. I haven't had death wobble that severe since my 1993 XJ Country doing about 75 miles an hour on the southern state on the way to work at JFK. That was a doozy, but uh, this one takes the cake. So that one shook the hell out of me, drove home nice and slow. And of course I had my track bar already ordered because I felt the oscillation on my very first test drive. So I knew this day was gonna come. Now I finally get to install my track bar. So let's do it guys. We're gonna do a track bar on the WJ and we're gonna hope that this solves the death wobble for now. If not, it's gonna be one step closer to uh, fixing this whole suspension. So let's do it. Let's see the track bar that just came in the mail. Boom. We got ourselves a Moog track bar from Amazon. It is part number RK660669. Yeah, let's cut this baby open. Nice. All right, pull this bad boy out. There we go. Ah. All right, here we go. Nice looking Moog track bar, brand new, about 60 bucks on Amazon. Can't beat it. So much better than trying to replace bushings. See these bushings in here? All right, let's get her in. Okay, before we get started, just wanna do a safety triple check. We got the jack stands nice and squared up. They are not tilting or swaying in any way. We got ourselves our tires underneath the frame. We got our rear wheels chucked with nice thick Belgian block. Got both sides going on there. Again, wheel under the frame. And nothing looks fagazy under there. Pretty straightforward. And we're gonna, we're gonna give our WJ a good push. Wiggle it side to side. Make sure nothing budges. All right. I think this is okay to work on. All right, here we go. Underneath the WJ. And man, just about every single one of these components could be causing me death wobble right now. Let's take a quick look. All right, right here we have our tie rods that connect the two knuckles. And uh, there is some play in this, so that could be an issue. I'm gonna have to get the tie rod ends on this bad boy. Um, let's see, what else? Here is that drag link. This drag link connects the knuckle to the pitman arm way up there. Now this one looks good up here. Um, it's got plenty of grease up there, because I just touched it. <laughs> and this one over here though, this boot, is just ripped apart. Uh, anything that was greased is probably ungreased by now for all the water, dirt, and grime up in there. So uh, that could be looked at. Plus, this is what's making my steering wheel a little bit crooked. So we could adjust this if we wanted right now. Not too worried about it at the moment. And here we go, this is our track bar. Now in XJs, what happens is a lot of times this hole will wallow out 
or the mount will wallow out. But in WJs, this is just a regular old bushing, so the bushing usually rots. And when the bushing rots, that's when you get your play. Um, we'll take a look at it when we remove this old one. But yeah, there we go. Well, that's that one. Um, what else am I gonna need? I already have on order new lower control arms. I don't know if you can see it. Come on, focus. Inside here, there, there we go. This is all rotted and rusted. So we'll get new lower control arms. The upper control arms, passenger side, I'm sorry, driver side, is pretty easy access, but the passenger side looks like it's really tight up in there. Haven't done WJ control arms ever. So yeah, a lot of components, a lot of things that could go wrong. <laughs> a lot of death wobble issues. You could even get death wobble from bad ball joints and hubs. But uh, we'll take it one part at a time and we'll see what helps and what doesn't. So well, let's take off our track bar. All right, to remove the track bar, it's just this 15 millimeter bolt up here. There's another bolt on the other side and uh, there should be a flag nut. You should be able to just take this off really easily without uh, it getting stuck. Um, I'm not sure if WJs have a flag nut. This might just be access with a wrench, so we'll see. Uh, we'll just try it with the 15 millimeter impact right now. Nice. Not too bad at all. Well now, look at this end. Yeah, that could be it right there. But <laughs> chances are it's probably more than just this one little track bar. But hey, it's going to help to replace this, that is for sure. All right, let's get the top side out. All right, so up here, this is going to be an 18 millimeter. And unfortunately, I cannot reach the old DeWalt up there. The Pitman arm is in the way. Um, man, I would love to get one of those fuel, those uh, right angled little impact guns, man. That would be great. But they're expensive and I, I love my DeWalts. Unfortunately, DeWalt never made anything like that, which is uh, really frustrating because um, I can't ever get a tool like that unless I switch over all the batteries. That's going to be a big pain. So uh, either DeWalt make me a right angled impact or uh, Milwaukee sponsor me. There we go. Nut is out. There we go. Wiggle and twist. That always works. Oh, really? Bump stop? Come on. <laughs> Sorry, camera. All right. Here are the two track bars side by side compared old to new. And just look at this stuff, guys. This, this is a bad bushing. <laughs> look at all the cracks and gaps in there. That is not tight whatsoever. Hopefully this new one will help. Let's look down here at the bottom, and again, we have the same very loose, loose bushings. This is nice and tight. Now, I'm not saying that this is the end-all, cure-all, especially with death wobble. There's multiple components in this front end. Like, look at all that crap, but <laughs> this might help a little bit, if not a lot of it. So we'll put this in and we'll see what happens. Come on, yes, haha. <laughs> All right, got that bump stop out of the way. Now we'll be able to put this flag nut in from the back, just as we got it out. All right, here we go. Gonna get this track bar in. Gotta make sure it's in the same orientation. I'm gonna keep this big counterweight down here at the bottom and let it curve up. Ah, uh, so here we go. Just line this end up in here.
wiggle, wiggle and push. Nice. go nice and tight crunch that baby on Woo! nice now the bump stop could go back good enough for now all right so you can see here now at the bottom end when we released it it kind of uh, separated relaxed and pulled away from where the track bar needs to bolt onto so I'm going to jack up this side just a little bit see if we can't close the gap and then if I have to I'll use a come along or a ratchet strap we'll suck that in All right, so jacking it up only got me right to there. Uh, geez, so close, but yet so far. And I don't want to keep jacking this thing up because, uh, you know, you don't want to knock this thing off its jack stands. So what I did was I grabbed myself a little ratchet strap, hooked one end in to this knuckle, and the other end is, whoop, don't trip over the jack handle. Come on, Dan. And uh, the other half, <laughs> I just looped right into the old puck for my rough country spacer now uh it's close enough to the body it should hold and while i was up here i noticed look at this son of a bee right here this bushing for this rough country shock it's only a couple months old guys it's cracking right there what's up with that cheap ass rough country bushings not a fan of that but all right let's give this thing a couple ratchets and we'll see how close we can get this hole See if I can do it one handed too. Mike's surrounded by tripods. And I'm still holding it. There we go. Look at this. Easy peasy. One handed, guys. Is that it? I think that might do it. One more squeeze. <laughs> awesome guys, one-handed, one-fingered, easy stuff. guys we are test driving at the WJ with the new track bar and I know we're not gonna get immediate results right away I'm just not gonna start off with death wobble and then solve the thing um, that's gonna it's gonna happen over time I'll let you know over the course of the next week or so if I get death wobble ever again but who knows maybe it'll solve it maybe it won't we still got a bunch of other steering components we got to look at again we got tie rod ends that are kind of shot and the control arms they're kind of shot. Everything on this vehicle seems to be shot. And also, don't forget, I'm still driving these old Wrangler um, JK wheels I got with bald tires and I didn't get an alignment after I put the pucks on. So all of this could be contributing to the death wobble. Not to mention the awful 
post winter potholes of uh, the Long Island Expressway. So I will keep you guys updated. So far, so good. Again, we've just been a couple miles around the block, but that's how you do a track bar. Pretty easy stuff, guys. So, all right. See you in a little bit. All right, guys, it's been about a week since I did the track bar, and as you can see, I did the headlights too. So not only is it looking good, it's driving good too. No more death wobble, and I am super excited about that. And it's only gonna get better from here because I have those new front control arms coming any day now. And after that, we'll probably do the rear upper control arm. We'll fix that ball joint in there. Actually, we'll just replace the whole thing. So we're gonna do a video on that. And I'm even gonna get tires eventually. So this thing is gonna be uh, basically an all new vehicle by the time I'm done with it. So I will leave a link in the description to all the products I've used in this video. And thank you guys for watching very much. Really appreciate it. So like and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next project. Peace.